Talking about condition reports, it is under, it's important to understand what is a condition report and why is it so crucial that we have it, what is it there for, and who does these kind of reports, and then who can also help you to do these reports. And lastly, of course, what needs to be in a condition report. So what is a condition report? It is a report that is being done um, whenever a, a artwork travels. So it follows its journey, if you want. So the first condition report is done when the artwork leaves the, um, the origin, the private collection, the museum, wherever it comes from. Then a second one is done after the first transport to determine, you know, how has anything changed? Has anything happened? Then after the exhibition time, and then again after the next transport. If it is a traveling exhibition, obviously that needs to be repeated for every step of the way. Again, it is there to make sure that you know in what condition did it leave and what happened until, you know, it comes back and it's back to, um, you know, its origin where it comes from at uh, the owners at the museum's uh, location. Why is it so crucial? Especially when it comes to insurance, it's really important to make sure that you know, um, yeah, what happened, what was the condition it left in, and what is the condition that it is in now. To really say, okay, has there been a claim? What kind of claim has there been? What extent is it maybe something that has, that has been there before and is now uh, just maybe bigger or has progressed? Or is it something completely new? So that is where you need these um, reports to be able to determine that. Unfortunately, they are quite often underrated. Um, we see a lot of different versions of condition reports. Some of them are very comprehensive and as such very helpful because you can actually determine uh, what happened, what the condition was, and again, compare it with the state the artwork is in now. If you don't have a comprehensive um, report like, like that, it sometimes becomes really complicated. And as um, a borrowing institution, you don't want that. As an insurer, obviously, you don't want that either. But what's really important is you have, uh, as a borrowing institution, um, or also as a lender, you have um, a good um, relationship with the other museum, with the other institution. It is great that um, something like loaning artwork exists because that is why we can do such wonderful exhibitions, why we have the benefit of seeing artworks not only in their home, but also um, out in another, in another museum, at another exhibition, in another location. So condition reports are there to, let's say, um, yeah, solidify this, this trust, to be really on the safe side if something happens, that there is not a lot of guesswork going on, what happened, who did what, um, which can unfortunately result in, in some, you know, rather un, unpleasant um, conversations. So to have a really good basis, a solid basis, it is crucial that A, a condition report or condition reports are being done and be that they are very comprehensive that you can actually work with them. Of course we have very <clears throat> nowadays uh, modern um, means of technology to do that. The easiest is your smartphone, the camera you have in your phone, um, computers and such. So there are a lot of things that can help you. So, so this is why it is so crucial to do these things. Who does that? Ideally, a conservator, a curator, someone who knows art, who knows the, the material, who can really um, examine the artwork and can really determine, okay, so this is the state, this is what, especially when it is older art, for example, this is what damage it might have seen previously, uh, this is where there's maybe a bit of deterioration um, happening just normally due to, uh, to the age of an artwork. Uh, and be able to really, uh, yeah, record that and uh, put it in that report. So if you're working my, my, uh, maybe with a private lender, 
um, and they seek help, they seek support, it makes sense to recommend them contacting their conservator. If they don't have one, um, help them find one that really helps them to come up with a really comprehensive um, condition report. On the other side, if you're on the lending, uh, on the borrowing side, uh, make sure that you talk to your curators, make sure that you talk to your uh, own conservators to have someone there who can really thoroughly examine the pieces when they come from their journey on their first step, when they come to you. Someone who knows how to end handle art, who knows what to look for. So this is what uh, how someone who can help you. What needs to be in a com in a, a condition report? Well, first of all, of course, the basic data, the let's say the business card of uh, an artwork, um, the artist, the title, the year, and so on. If you're not quite sure about that, I recommend looking up the so-called object ID. The object ID is a standard that has been um, developed with various um, yeah, institutions, various players in the art world, um, led by the Getty Institute, to come up with um, yeah, a, a way, a thorough way of cataloging art, uh, of cataloging uh, cultural heritage, uh, that follows a certain standard. So I always recommend that because it is universally known uh, all around the world. So this really helps you. So once you have the basic data of the artwork, it is about, of course, who is the owner? Where does it go to? What exhibition? What's the time frame? And then you look at the condition. But before that, what, some, what a lot of people underestimate, it is also about the crate it comes in. So what is the packing? Does it have a crate? Um, does it have any other way of uh, being wrapped, being secured? What, uh, what kind of materials have been used? Um, and also, not only so that they also know, okay, this is the material that travels with the artwork, and ideally it's also packed that way when it comes back, but also to say, okay, this is the, the state the crate was in, for example. Have there been, when it arrives at the first um, the first station at your museum, for example, um, are there any damages that you can see from the outside? Has anything happened uh, to the crate, which might then also, you know, lead to you looking at the artwork in the specific work uh, parts or in the specific areas to determine if something has happened. So the crate, the packing. Then, of course, if it is a painting, if it is an, um, a picture, is it framed? And what is the condition of the frame? What is the frame? Is it, um, is it wood? Is it plaster? Is it historical? Is it, um, you know, maybe very, very roughly made? Um, so anything that kind of comes with the artwork. Some artworks, some very expensive, some very sensitive artworks have very elaborate framing. Is it glazed, for example? Um, is it even maybe climatized? That is very rarely, but it does happen. So to also say, okay, what is there and what condition is it in? Is there anything, did anything happen to the frame? Do you have to do something about this? Um, so because a lot of people, they really think just about the artwork, think about the whole environment it is uh, being displayed in, but also it travels in. And then, of course, you look at the, the piece itself. For that, use digital fit photography. Take a lot of pictures that you can uh, really zoom in to any um, previous damage, to any, um, as I said, deterioration, anything that happened before, so that you have a really good material to be able to compare it with um, you know, what it comes back with or as, uh, to be able to have something that really helps you. With older um, condition reports, I've sometimes seen photographs that have been scanned and copied multiple times, where frankly, it's really hard to say what really happened if, because you can't really determine what the, uh, the condition was. It's more of a guesswork. So always have in mind what the idea of a condition report is. Always have in mind that it is there to be able to track the status an artwork is in, the condition it is in, 
And the better you do that, the more comprehensive you do it, the easier it is um, to avoid any um, insecurities, to av avoid any misunderstandings, to avoid any discussions. Because everyone is on the same page, everyone has a solid basis to judge that on. From an insurance side, we know that it is often underestimated, underrated. So we always plead um, with our clients, with our brokers, obviously, to also advocate for that, to make sure that you have a really solid, good um, condition report. On that note, if you don't really know what needs to be in there, if you have any doubts, if you need any advice, try to reach out, well, try reach out to your insurers. They can help you. They can maybe provide a template. They can help you finding conservators who have their own condition reports. A lot of conservators who do this on a regular basis, they have a template. They know exactly what to do and how to record it. Um, be sure that you, yeah, you get all the help, you get all the support that you need to be able to come up with a, a very good process and a very good template for your institution, for the institution you're working for, to have, um, yeah, to have something established that will then just be part of the process and be, um, yeah, a good way of uh, making sure that any loan that comes to your institution leaves in a, in a safe and in a documented way.